Hey guys, today I'm in the clock classroom to solve some problems. I already know how to tell time, but now I want to learn about how I can add and subtract time. Come on over to my board with me. Here we are at the chalkboard looking at a number line. You might wonder why we are looking at a number line when we are going to work on problems involving time. Well, a number line can be used to help us understand what is being represented in the problem. This simple number line has the numbers 1, 2, and 3. We can say that each one of these numbers represents an hour. You should already know that an hour is made up of 60 minutes. When we go from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, 60 minutes or 1 hour has passed. We can also break down the hour into smaller segments. It would take forever to draw 60 small lines in between each of these hours, so we will not use individual minutes. We can, however, start at half hours or 30 minutes. These lines represent 30 minute intervals or half hours. We can also break it down further into 15 minute or quarter hour segments as well. With this number line, we can now see visually how time has passed. For example, Let's say I started playing games at 1.15 p.m. I finished playing games at 2.30 p.m. How long did I play games? By counting the amount of time from the start to the end on the number line, we will know how long I played games. One easy way to work this problem is to make jumps by the hour. So we start at 1.15 and jump one hour. And that takes us to 2.15. We now have jumped one hour, but we are still not quite there yet. We need to make one more jump. How many more minutes do we need to jump to make it to 2.30? We need to jump 15 more minutes. So the total amount we jumped was one hour and 15 minutes. Great job, guys. This is awesome. We just used a number line to solve a time problem. Let's bring in a word problem and see how the number line helps us. Here is a word problem that says Katie started eating her lollipop at 1.15 p.m., but didn't finish until 3.43 p.m. How long did it take her to finish her lollipop? That must have been a huge lollipop. This problem can seem tricky, but once we start using the number line, we will figure it out. We start at 1.15 and move up an hour to 2.15. Looks like we can still move another hour, so let's do that. From 2.15 to 3.15 is another hour. We have moved two hours and that got us to 3.15, but she did not finish until 3.43. We need to figure out how many minutes are between 3.15 and 3.43. To do this, we are going to jump in smaller increments. We can go from the 15 here and jump 15 minutes. We are now at 3.30. If we jump another 15 minutes, where does that put us? We actually jumped past where we need to be. We are now at 3.45. Let's erase this jump so we can learn how to make smaller jumps. We are back to 3.30, and from here, let's jump 10 minutes. Now we are at 340. From 340, we only need to jump three more minutes. To finish the problem, we just need to add up the amount of jumps that we did. We jumped two hours, then 15 minutes plus 10 minutes gives us 25 minutes. And the last jump is three minutes added to the 25 gives us 28. So the answer is 2 hours and 28 minutes. That is how long it took Katie to eat her lollipop. Great job, guys. Let's look at one more using a number line again. Bill played with his friend for 2 hours and 15 minutes. If Bill arrived at his friend's house at 3.15 p.m., when did he leave? The problem tells us that Bill got to his friend's house at 3.15 and stayed there for 2 hours and 15 minutes, so we need to use the number line to add 2 hours and 15 minutes to see when he left. Here is the start at 3.15.
we start by jumping with the highest increment we can, which is the hour. Let's jump two hours. We have jumped two hours and we are at 515. Great job! Now all that's left is to jump another 15 minutes. So what time did Bill leave his friend's house? 5.30. Great job! He left at 5.30. Thank you for learning with me today. I got a jet. See you guys later. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.